Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, papakita ko po sa inyo kung ano po yung ginagawa natin as an IT service desk analyst. So, ano po ba yung IT service desk analyst? So, I will show you later. Kaya, panoorin nyo po ang video na to. So, I am working at an insurance company at QBE. That's an insurance company in Australia. So, since pandemic, we are working from home starting March up until now. So, ito na po yung aking opisina dito sa kwarto namin. Um, actually, I've been sitting here for 8 hours. So, ayun na nga. Ano po ba yung IT service test analyst? So, IT Service Desk Analyst, so sa madaling salita, ito po yung IT support. So, we cater issues, IT-related issues for employees or users from QBE. So, I am a chat support. We assist them through chats. We also have phones. So, ayan, napapalaban tayo sa mga English sa natin dyan. We also have uh, from other country, Singapore, Hong Kong. Dubai and many more so one example issue na very common ngayon since working from home is yung network connection so madami dyan ng mga users na hindi makapag log in so the main reason dyan is yung internet natin dito sa Pinas kasi most users na nag re-raise o na nag -cha chat sa atin or nag uh, tumatawag is yung from the Philippines. So, alam naman natin dito sa Pilipinas, yung internet natin dyan. So, ayun. Tumatawag yan sila sa atin. Nakala nila yung issue is from QBE. Pero, after investigation, yung issue po natin is the ISP, Internet Service Provider. It's either Smart, Glow, PLDT. At ngayon lang, may maintenance si PLDT. So, yun nga. As an IT analyst, kami po ay nagki-cater ng mga issue, any IT-related issue, Outlook issue, application supports, but if there were issues na hindi naman namin ma-resolve, uh, we raise tickets naman dyan. We assign them to our higher level of support. So, we have higher level of support naman. So, they were the application support. So, specific sila doon sa application na nagkaka-issue. So, another applications that we cater or any other issues that we cater like laptop hardware software issues na kaya naman sa end namin actually we do have a lot of uh, chats especially if we have a known issue we cater about 40 to 50 chats every day yes ganyan po sobrang busy natin tapos may pa yt pa tayo dyan pero carry best lang naman okay 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 so ayan na nga So, in this case, user chatted, wanted to open the XML file from the network drive. So, pasensya na ha, we need to blur the screen for security purposes. So, ayun nga. Um, since it's an XML file, XML file is also like an HTML file. It's a coded file. So, hindi po siya na-open. So, we tried to uh, convert XML file to a Word document. So, may online converter naman. Pero, sa case ni user, we cannot convert the file as the file is too big. There was an error when trying. So, in this case, I advise user to reach out to someone who sent the file to her email para naman po ma-double check. Dapat kasi naka-word document yan or any other file na para ma-open niya kaagad. Kasi yung XML file is like an HTML po. So, it's a coded document. So, that is one of the, the examples sa mga IT-related issue na kinikater po namin 
pero mad- madami pa po yan. Iba- ibang issue everyday po yung kinikater ng IT Service Desk Analyst. So, during weekdays naman, lalo na pag Monday, yun yung sobrang busy namin. Um, hindi lang isang chat window yung kinikater namin. Umaabot po kami dalawa hanggang tatlong chat window na sabay-sabay naming ina-assess kay user. So, ganun po kami ka-busy talaga. Uh, ngayong weekends, okay naman kasi uh, most uh, QB employees naman yung day off nila is Saturday and Sunday. So, it's like nakapagpahinga naman tayo pag weekends. Tapos, may day off tayo on weekdays, kaya hindi tayo masyadong abugbog aber na. <laughs> diba? So, ayun na nga guys. Yan po yung ginagawa natin every day as an IT service desk analyst. So, kung gusto nyo pong yung position na yan or job title na yan, you must be an IT a four-year graduate course. So, it's like challenging po siya na no, job, pero exciting din naman. Recently, we have a common VPN issue that most users are unable to open Outlook, unable to open Internet Explorer, browser, Teams, unable to open the network drives. So, since there w- uh, there is a VPN issue, what we do here is to check the LAN settings. So, from the IE browser, ito po yung naka-open ngayon. Click lang po natin, uh, natin yung gear icon. Punta tayo dito sa internet options. So, click natin yung connections tab. Punta tayo dito sa LAN settings. So, usually, pag hindi nakatik itong automatic detect settings, yan po yung common na issue na user in which yung internet niya ay hindi po nadidetect. So, yung VPN niya po, hindi na detect Kaya, kailangan natin itik yung automatically detect settings. Uncheck po yan. Then, click OK. Then, that would fix the issue. So, this is very common po na issue uh, since uh, two, two weeks ago. Click OK lang yan. Then, it should work. So, once na ma-refresh na yung, ano yung IE, try natin mag-open ng Google. Ayan, so that should work. So, yan po, isa din po yan sa example ng mga known issue po namin. Na kinikator. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Dumating na po yung delivery, guys, from our generous company yung yellow cup pizza dalawang box po yan okay so eating time na naman at meron din pong sola iced tea thank you thank you QBE